My name is Dawn Plummer. I'm the executive director of the Pittsburgh Food Policy Council and we're here downtown on Grant Street uh, in front of this majestic city county building celebrating our first annual Pittsburgh Food Day with 500 Pittsburghers and a delicious meal. Food is the most basic human need and we've been coming together around a fire, around a table for as long as people have been around. My name is Zaheen Hussein. I'm the Millville Sustainability Coordinator, and today we are here celebrating Pittsburgh Food Day and World Food Day at Pittsburgh City Hall. We are going to be starting a garden very soon. We got our grant so the students can start planning and learning how to grow food. And my name is Bilal Abbey, and I came down here today to do spoken word, uh, brings a little bit of poetry, and try to bring the message of having good food and its importance home to the Pittsburghers here. Unhealthy. It makes me feel like I'm going to go and touch my tummy. Touch my tummy. So oftentimes in the food movement we talk about um, the food itself and it, that it's nutritious and healthy. Uh, to talk about the issues that affect us as people, whether that's our school food, um, healthy food is available in our neighborhoods. Uh, to talk about you know where and how we shop. There are people behind those stories and the idea of Food Day is to really come together and get to know each other and celebrate and share a meal. We're really proud to be a part of the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. That's something that the, uh, Shelley spoke with the mayor about a couple of years ago, and it took them all 30 seconds to decide that that, that was a, a policy that Pittsburgh needed to be a part of. And we're really proud to run a system of farmers markets for over 20 years now that are slowly growing, expanding, and offering fresh food for everybody in nearly every neighborhood in the city. It's not just if people around us, if our neighbors don't have food and access to food. It's not equitable. If we don't have, if none of us have control of where our food comes from. And it's not sustainable if we don't know where it's going to come from tomorrow. When you really get down to the nitty gritty of it, you got to think about how you want to live. We don't always have the advantage of understanding exactly how or what we should eat to keep us healthy. Right now, it's more important for us to educate each other and low-income communities and everywhere else about the power of eating healthy, about the power of growing our own food. Because if we don't start when they're young, then they will be like me, growing up thinking it's okay to be ignorant to eat healthy, and we can't afford that. Pittsburgh Tall, supporting responsible economic redevelopment in our neighborhoods. Presented by Work Hard Pittsburgh, Haggerty Media, and Epicast.